Jason, thank you. Well, not everyone has the luxury of hanging out indoors on a scorcher of a day like this one. Firefighters all over the valley keeping busy responding to calls. CBS 5's Allison Blair spent the afternoon with the firefighters at Station 218 in Mesa. So, Allison, what has it been like out there for them? Adam, firefighters here have responded to a total of five calls today. None of them were heat related, but one thing they're very mindful of is staying hydrated and keeping cool so they don't end up in an ambulance themselves. Already today, these guys have gone through several coolers packed with water and Gatorade. Captain Matt Rogers told me he's tried to keep his guys inside and out of the sun so they're as rested as possible when a call comes in. In the field, when crews are battling a fire, a rehab truck is dispatched. It's a mobile cooling station equipped with fans and cold water misters. They'll set up an area where basically they'll treat us like patients. You know, we come in, they'll take our vital signs, they'll start cooling us off. And now those rehab trucks are manned 24 hours a day during the summer months. In Mesa, Allison Blair, CBS 5 News. Allison, good work. Thank you. Well, the weather side. But of course, it does affect people. And our Colton Schoen was hanging out with the Mesa Fire Department. Uh, Colton, I would imagine there, there would be a lot of calls, uh, a lot of heat-related calls out there this afternoon. Was that the case? You know, you know, I would think the same thing too, Chris, but I've been out here all day and we responded to a call, but it wasn't heat related. Now the fire captain here says when it gets as hot as it is today, a lot of people tend to bunker down and try to keep themselves cool in air conditioned places. But no matter how hot it gets, these people are out and about trying to make sure everyone is safe. The crew at Firehouse 206 is ready to leave at a moment's notice. You have to put your seatbelts on. The sweltering heat isn't going to stop them. We rode along with this crew after they responded to a call at a Panda Express. The sprinklers were set off. Try to uh, acquire as much information as possible as to what we're responding to. Luckily for these guys, the call was just a false alarm. But no matter what call these folks go on, they have to be prepared, especially in this heat. We want to make sure that we drink enough and so a lot of us will bring in big water bottles or containers. He says these firefighters also work out every morning they're on shift with their gear on to get their body acclimated to whatever calls lie ahead. So the heat can definitely get to us. So I decided to put their turnouts on and stand outside for a few minutes to see what these firefighters go through. While pulling the hose. So I'm not used to this, but I've got about 60 pounds worth of gear on me. But these guys are wearing this all the time when they go out to calls. Like I said, it's hot out. I'm more hot right now than I probably was about five minutes ago. I'm starting to feel the effects, so I'm going to go cool off right now, and I'll show you how they do that. To cool themselves off, firefighters use a thing called forearm immersion. They stick their forearms in ice-cold water. It cools the blood down, and it circulates to their body to bring down their temperature. But we do try to rotate personnel through more often when we're uh, on structure fires. We try to make sure we spend enough time in rehab. Now, that fire captain says they do expect to go out on a few of those heat-related calls for the next few days, but he said yesterday at the Vans Warped Tour concert, which is outdoors here in the East Valley, he said about 200 people had some sort of heat sickness, and five of them had to be transferred to the hospital. Reporting live in Mesa, I'm Colton Schoen, CBS 5 News. Colton, thank you. We want to get